Hello students, uh, welcome to environmental studies and uh, we are in module number 5 so which is nothing but latest developments in environmental pollution mitigation tools. So this is the second video which I am going to, uh, through which I am going to explain. In my last video I explained about remote sensing and uh, so environment impact assessment. So these two topics that we have covered in my last video. And in this video, I am going to explain about environmental management systems and uh, ISO 14001 and uh, environmental stewardship that is NGOs. So these three topics that I am going to cover in this video. So let us uh, straight away go to the topics. The first one is environmental management systems EMS. So what is all about this environmental management system? So it is a developed which is compliance with ISO 14001 standard. So we all know that it's a, there is a standard ISO 14001. So to in compliance with that environmental management systems also developed. So what is the strategy for this is to, uh, to implement its environmental policy and address government regulations. Right. So what are the things that this EMS is going to focus is that uh, meeting the commitments identified in organization's policy. So it can be uh, reducing or eliminating the negative environmental impacts. So this is uh, uh, important that thing that we are going to see uh, reducing the eliminating the negative environmental impacts of its products, services and activities. So this is uh, the main major role that uh, we are going to see. Eliminating the negative environmental impacts of its products, services and activities and or increasing the positive effects. So eliminating the negative environmental impacts and increasing the so positive effect. So this is all about this environmental management system focuses on the main motto of this EMS is to reduce uh, the envir negative environmental impacts and to increase the positive effect. So, environmental management system goals. So, what are the goals of this EMS is? The first one is um, uh, maintaining minimal legal standards. So, that is nothing but so company should not face any kind of fines. So, which is given by the government and the unnecessary government intervention or may not be able to cooperate. So, all these things so will focus on. So, this, these are the goals to me. Uh, Right. So, our next one is a waste reduction, like to introduce environmental impact. So, uh, whatever the industries that we take, or automobile industry, or uh, any other, uh, so waste contributing to uh, our surroundings or atmospheres. So, all these things, the main motto of this environmental management system is to reduce the waste, to reduce the waste, which goes beyond the uh, the complaints to reduce environmental impact. So, what are the things that EMS helps developing and implementing and managing and coordinating and monitoring the environmental policies. The third one is a pollution prevention and waste minimization. So, these are the two important things uh, that again it is going to focus. So, what is what are we going to get? So, by doing all these things is waste is reduced by recycling. So, uh, the main the major drawback for our uh, pollution uh, is nothing but the waste so waste uh, management is very very important it is a very challenging task for all of us nowadays because everywhere waste is dumped uh, and we do not know how to handle it and lots of things are being implemented to segregate the waste into wet waste and dry waste and all these things and all so now our goal is that environmental management system goal is to how to prevent it and how to prevent it in that the, the main uh, the focus is how to reduce it by recycling. So recycling is one of the best methods that we can introduce to reduce the waste, uh, waste contribution. So this is what the main thing that we are going to how to recycle it. So all, all the things can uh, will not should not be dumped instead so how to recycle it and how to make it as a useful product so these are the goals so first one i repeat so maintaining minimal uh, legal standards and uh, so should not other uh, company should not face the fines and the government intervention will should be minimum and then uh, waste uh, reducing so which is uh, going beyond that level 
and standard levels and then the pollution prevention waste minimization so how to do this so which is uh, focusing on reducing by recycling okay so these are the important goals that we are going to see and again so the ems model is going to come up with a particular cycle so in the cycle we call it as a plan do check act cycle so that is nothing in short form we can call it as pdca cycle plan do check and act so all of the other department departments we all do that uh, planning will be done in the beginning and uh, so we'll do implement it so along with that impl planning and implementing so we are going to have a thorough check on this and then after thorough I mean uh, thorough check uh, on that particular thing so we are going to act on that all right so so what is all about this the process of including checking and acting uh, is the additional thing which is added in which is added than the conventional method is the environmental management system okay so what is the main motto of this emrc is to continual is a process of continual improvement in for any organization uh, constantly reviewing and revising the system so okay and then uh, so it is a, it is widely used in uh, manufacturing from manufacturing facilities to service industries to government agencies so this is a wide range organization this ma uh, environmental management system so we can see the cycle how so this is the continual process so where it will start from planning and then uh, it is implementing or doing and then after doing so when the process is going on there is a thorough check okay so what are what is to be added and what is to be eliminated the thorough check and then again it is going to act so once it is acting again the planning will be done so it's a continual process so this is all about this environmental management system model okay and then coming to this iso 14001 it's a certified uh, model, so ISO 14001. So what is all of this? This is the international standard. So it provides a framework that an organization can follow rather than establishing environmental performance requir requirements. Right? So what is that framework? So ISO 14001 yeah, framework is, so th there are different uh, uh, things will be added. So it will be, uh, so what you call uh, moving around around this uh, framework so which is nothing but a first planning and then support and then operation and then performance evaluation and continual improvement and the context of the organization and then the leadership okay so these are the standards that we are going to follow in this iso 14001 for an effective environmental management systems for the effective ems this ISO 14000 will come into picture. And then coming to this ISO 14001. So what is the outcome that we are going to get in this uh, uh, what you call certificate, certified uh, ISO? Which is what is that uh, envir intended outcomes which is enhancement of environmental performance. And next one is a fulfillment of compliance obligations. And then continual achievement of environmental objectives. So these are the main different, uh, main important uh, outcomes that we are going to get from this certificate program, that ISO 14001. So which will provide uh, the value for the environment at the same time, uh, the organization the, and the interested parties. So whichever they want to implement the parties, so they are going to get uh, the continual uh, environmental management system. And then, so next what you are going to see is what are the advantages that we are going to see from through this certification. So the first one is um, we are going to get the increased resource efficiency and lower consumption and environmental goals and reduction of uh, environmental risks in, our, in your company and continuous implementation of the necessary environmental protection measures and then integration of uh, environmental management into business processes and uh, internationally recognized environmental management system and increased resource efficiency so all these things will be centered ar around this uh, iso 14001 certification so these are the advantages of iso 14001 so the main thing is that we have to understand the outcomes what are the different outcomes that we are going to get through this now just moving on to this uh, environmental stewardship which are which is the ngos 
so the main thing is that actually the first and foremost a particular i mean uh, a responsible person so the founder is nothing but aldo leopold so from the year 1887 to 1949 so he uh, what he called anchored this particular environmental stewardship and uh, so he introduced and uh, became the founder of this and he uh, the what does it the environmental stewardship uh, talk about so it is the responsible use and protection of na uh, natural environment so this an uh, environmental stewardship will deal with the man's relationship to land animals and plants uh, which grow upon it okay so it will give the it will give the connection between the human origin to the soil the land animals the creatures plants all the living organisms so, so that there is a connection which gives uh, between these two so this is nothing but the environmental stewardship and uh, and how, what does it refer to it refers to responsible use protection and the of the natural environment so we can see in this picture so what are the things that we are we, it is uh, center around so local environmental stewardship actions so capacity motivations and actors so three different uh, uh, angles that it is center around and social ecological context and change so this will produce ecological and social outcomes of a stewardship so we can see in the pictures that how we nature nurture not nature is a nurture uh, the plants and uh, so it is giving a connection between the human origin and the the plants because nowadays deforestation is happening everywhere so cutting down the trees and that is again uh, Uh, giving an impact on the ozone layer depletion of it is uh, really causing the depletion of ozone layers and the main important thing is that in the year 2015 when it goes on it happens the same thing so there will be a major setback happens in this environment that uh, uh, humidity increases and uh, the temperature increases and it is very difficult for us the human origin to live with so the how important it is to grow the plants and how important it is to what you call to reduce the depletion of ozone layers so all these things will come into picture so all these things will be center around the environmental stewardship right and uh, so environmental stewardship so the, the, these are the different the important factors that will come across that are promoting the conser conservation efficiency renewable energy and uh, protecting our natural resources and minimizing minimizing use of water and minerals and reducing greenhouse and gas emissions what i was talking about so apart from this uh, depletion of ozone layers so the greenhouse effect and the coming uh, the emissions which are coming out from gas uh, gas emissions uh, from the automobiles so different sort of uh, oxides of nitrogen carbon dioxide and uh, sulfur dioxide is so a different so to reduce all these harmful gases which are coming out from this automobiles which are really harmful to the human beings and then social responsibility and pnnl uh, sustainability pacific northwest uh, national laboratory uh, sustainability and the economic prosperity so all these things uh, will focus on this these are the uh, what you call the outcomes that we uh, come across with the help of this environmental stewardship ngos and uh, so by practicing this what are the results that we are going to get what are the benefits the positive benefits uh, we are going to get so first one is saving costs and additional value potentially reducing your site's regulatory responsibilities improving environmental performance and reducing liabilities providing you with a competitive advan advantage due to more effective and effective operations so all these things uh, we get the result out of it we get the benefit and there is a kind of a different uh, additional statement given so that we have to follow don't at underestimate the benefits that come from knowing your business has done its part to ensure that a healthy and a safe environment is passed on to future generations a great responsibility for all of us so what we are uh, getting that benefit out of this um, environment or ecology the it is our responsibility in each and every person's hand this hand over to the future generations the same way or in a better way that uh, that if we can contribute from our end so we can we can do that 
so to hand over to the next generations so the, all these things uh, uh, comes around uh, comes under this environmental stewardship uh, ngos so these are the things that we have seen here in this module okay thank you very much for watching this video and we will continue the next um, what you call topic in the other video so thank you very much